I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs. Today I want to talk about different ways that you can save money doing your punch needle projects. One way you can save money is to use small leftover pieces of weaver's cloth. I sometimes end up with small pieces that aren't very wide. So I will use the small pieces to make things like ornaments or pens or bowl fillers or other small things. I also will sometimes sew the pieces together and make it big enough to fit on my gripper strip frame or my non-slip hoop. I don't punch over the seam. I don't put any pattern over the seam, but it allows me to have a bigger piece of fabric so I can stick it in my hoop or my frame. I have a video going more in depth about the ways that I use small pieces of weaver's cloth, and I'll put a link in the description below. Another way you can save money while punching is to reuse the floss that you took out. Sometimes I will choose a color and then not like it for whatever reason. Here I had used this color for the background and it just didn't quite look right. So as you can see, I took it out and I can still punch back over this area and I'm going to reuse the thread. I just wound it right back up in a ball. And you know, when you take it out, it's very, let me take out some here. It's very crinkly. This is, I had taken out from around here. And once you wind it back on the ball, it loses that crinkle and it's very easy to reuse this thread on a different project. Another way you can save money is to use floss that you find at estate sales or someone gives to you. Sometimes they're not the right color. Um, I have this bag here of older flosses and they're pretty bright for the style that I like to punch. So something I could do with these so that they're more usable colors is to over dye them um, by just putting them in some coffee or tea. And when you take them out, they're way more toned down and a, a darker color. And I have a video also where I showed how to dye the floss. So I will put a link for that one in the description below. Another way you can save money in your punch needle projects is to purchase digital patterns. They're generally cheaper than paper patterns and you don't have to pay shipping charges. And if you don't have a printer, most public libraries will let you print pages very economically. Another way you can save money in punch needle is to use up your small leftover pieces of floss that you have left over from other projects. So there's probably not enough of any of these to punch anything, but the colors all go together nicely. So if I had these three colors and I wanted to punch something, let's just draw a square here for an example. You might punch with one of the colors, just draw some lines and punch with one of the colors and then draw some line, other lines, or you could go around these lines with another, the second color and then fill in with the third color. And it just gives you some variation as well as helping you use up your small pieces of floss. A good way to choose colors of floss that go together is a lot of times the number, the consecutive numbers, this is 501, 502, and 503. The consecutive numbers go well together. They're in the same color category, but you can also find other colors that go together even if they're not consecutive numbers. To show you a real life example, I have drawn a flag here on another one of my narrow pieces of weaver's cloth, and I've chosen two different reds and two blues and two creams and i'm going to punch the flag i'm going to use six strands of embroidery floss and i'm going to use my ctr six strand punch
just going to punch little sections here and little sections there. In addition to a good way to use up extra floss, this is just a good way to add a little bit of texture to a project while using solid colored floss. There's no right or wrong method here, just do it however you feel like doing it. Since I'm just using two shades of cream, I'm just going to fill in the rest of the cream stripes with the other shade of cream. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the two shades of red. Here's what I punched with the first shade of red and now I'm ready to punch with the second shade of red. I will fill in all the rest of the stripes. Here's what I punched with the first shade of blue, and then I will fill in with the other shade of blue. Now in this example, I used shades of floss that were very similar in color. So there's not a lot of variation, but you can see it just adds a little bit of interest and movement to the piece instead of just one solid color. And it's a great way to use up small pieces of floss. I ended up using three different shades of DMC floss for a background and I made French knots for the stars. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.